This episode is a dramatic reading of Espresso's Deadly Brew by Peggy Gittergal underscore LBS4. You can find it on Wattpad. Link below. Enjoy. Chapter 7. An unseen guest in horror as the purple snake slithered away from Madeline. The poor night commander fell to the ground in agony. I've been bit! I've been bit! Madeline screamed. Financier did not hesitate to spring into action. So Madeline! Oh God! Hold still! Do not move your knee! Madeline was scared and panicking. Financier calmly hushed him. Breathe! You're gonna be okay! You need to remain calm, okay? She said. Madeline nodded. Good, she said. She pulled out a small med kit she had on her, as well as a communicator. She began speaking in nay do code. Molt Danish! She shouted into the communicator. Molt Danish! Rupert Bingzu! Madeline realized what she was saying. She was shouting, Man down! Man down! Requesting backup! This was the first time someone had ever had to do this for him. He began to feel sleepy, lightheaded. He couldn't fight the urge, and he passed out. Eventually, he woke up in the hospital connected to a heart monitor and IV drip. He looked around to get a good idea of his surroundings. While doing so, he had noticed another hospital bed being occupied. He immediately recognized those concerned brown eyes that were staring back at him. Madeline coughed a bit before speaking. Uh, espresso? He said. Oh, you're awake. Good, you're not dead, Espresso said quickly, immediately looking away from Madeline and laying back down. Madeline sat there looking at Espresso, confused by a sudden shift in expression. Espresso sat up. Hey, um, what happened? He asked with genuine concern in his voice. Madeline looked at him. Oh, well, um... I got... I got bit by some sort of purple snake. What?! Espresso shouted in shock. Yeah, but I'll be okay, Madeline said triumphantly. No, you idiot! Espresso stopped himself. As Lottie's words of resentment echoed through his mind. I hope you learn from this. Because next time, you might not make it. And the last memory me and Madeline will have you. Is of a dad who has only thought of himself. Espresso exhaled softly. No, Maddie, you're not going to be okay, he said softly. What do you mean, Essie? That snake belongs to someone who is probably going to try to get into my lab and use my experiment for evil. Oh, but why send it after me? You were probably seen as a threat and they wanted you gone so they could achieve their goal. That's my only guess. I don't like the sound of this person. Yeah, well, luckily my laboratory was most likely locked up by Almond. Madeline immediately went silent. Oh. Oh? What do you mean, oh, what did you do? Espresso said in a panicked tone. Alchemist has access to your lab, Madeline said. Espresso sighed in relief. I know. I gave her access. God, you scared me for a second. Oh, you did? Good, that's a relief. Madeline said, laughing a bit. I scared myself. M Maddie, I... Espresso started to say. He stopped himself. Now was not the time to tell him. Not yet. Never mind. Don't forget to like us!